Keep up the good work. Perfect! You guys are the best!
Hey there, guys. Oh, what's up, Reen? I see Curiosity got the better of you, too, eh? <laughs> no helping that, I guess. I wondered if maybe you'd found out anything about it. Oh, I brought you a little something to eat, too. Oh, thanks. I was just thinking I could use a little sugary pick-me-up to get my brain back on track. Oh, this is one tasty-looking apple pie. Oh, thanks. I'm feeling all fired up now. You seem pretty taken with this thing, huh? Can't say I blame you, though. Yeah, it's really amazing. Whatever it is. So, what do we know so far? I'm glad you asked. The deeper I look into it, the more fascinating it seems. It's not just a statue or anything like that. You can see those joints. This thing's clearly capable of movement. And on top of that, it's made of, well, it's something I can hardly even begin to describe. Some unknown metal, then. It's definitely not iron. And it's not one of those recently discovered special alloys, either. It's some kind of fiendishly strong material that has properties of both metals and ceramics. If you knew how to manufacture it, you'd rake in so much money it'd make your head spin. Wow. You think there's a possibility that it might be an ancient artifact? You mean, like, something from the era before the Septian calendar? I can't rule out the possibility, but in this case, my gut's telling me no. Artifacts are like black boxes. Not only do we not know what they're made from, we don't even know how they were made. This thing at least shows signs it was put together by some exceptionally skilled craftsmen and engineers. You can see it most clearly in the ornamental detailing and the joints. see what you're talking about. Still, that basically sums up everything I do know. I've got no idea when it was made or who could even have built it. It'd help if we could at least figure out something about whoever piloted it, but no such luck there. Piloted? You're telling me someone's actually supposed to crawl inside this thing? Well, the measurements I've taken seem to indicate a hollow area in the chest. just the right size to accommodate a single person. If I could just find some way to get it open. Man, it's hard to imagine that some crazy person used to strap themselves inside this thing and run around. Jellica would be happier than a pig in a mud hole if she could see this. <laughs> no doubt about that. It's not looking like she'll be able to make it to the festival, though. It's sad things ended up the way they did. Hey, hey, don't you guys go getting all weepy on me now. It's still morning. I'll bet she'll just turn up out of nowhere this afternoon like nothing even happened. And then she'll waltz right into the after party and round up all the hottest babes for herself. <laughs> Again. <laughs> still sore, are we? It feels like so long ago now. To think that was just last year. You're right, though. It's hard to imagine her just staying put when she knows there's a party going on. I mean, I'm not trying to get my hopes up too much, but this is Angie we're talking about. Heh, <laughs> you got that right. But hey, the festival's in full swing. We should be seeing the sights, not poking around down here. What do you say the three of us cruise the campus and see if we can score some honeys? <laughs> no can do. My sister should be showing up soon, and I promised I'd show her around. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. All right, have fun. I think I'll pass on the honey hunting, but I guess it's a good time to pack it in for today. I don't want to miss your concert later. I'm looking forward to seeing what you've been practicing all this time. Well, I hope we don't disappoint.
Sorry for keeping you waiting. Oh, Reen! Is something the matter? You look awfully tired. Did something happen? <laughs> you can tell, huh? I was running all over yesterday. Mainly rehearsals for our concert today and some other tests last night. Tests? During the festival? My, they certainly don't go easy on you here. Maybe you should go get some rest. You have your concert coming up this afternoon after all. I can look around on my own just fine. Though, honestly, if you're not feeling well, I'd rather take care of you. It's nothing to worry yourself over, really. <sighs> nah, I got enough sleep last night to keep me going strong today. If I tried to rest now, it might actually sap my energy. Besides, you came all the way out from Heimdall to visit. I'd rather spend the day with you instead. I can only hang out till noon, though. After that, we've got our final prep for the concert. Reen? <laughs> well, if you insist. If you want to keep me company that much, I'd be happy to oblige. <laughs> what should we see first, then? Hmm. Oh, maybe we can start with Class 2's Indoor Garden. How's that sound? We walked around the academy together, and I showed her all of the different attractions on display. I took Elise around on a grand tour of the festival. We stopped by all the big class attractions, bumped into a lot of my classmates and their families, and even ran into instructor Sarah in a couple second years. By the time we'd finished seeing everything and chatting with everyone, the morning was nearly over. Schwarzer? Patrick? Oh, looks like Celestine's out enjoying the festivities, too. I believe you are a son of the High Arms family. Lady Elise, you're looking simply splendid today. I was hoping you might be able to make it. How utterly heartless of you to not tell me she'd be visiting. Is that any way to treat your bosom buddy? Your dear friend? Sorry, uh, wait, when did we become dear friends? A good day to you, Master Reen. And you must be his younger sister, who I've heard so much about. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Elise Schwarzer. It's good to see you well, Lord Patrick. Please, please, there's no need for such formalities between us. Just call me Patrick. Ah, I know. Why don't we take this opportunity to stroll the campus together? Schwarzer, what are you doing? What problem could you possibly have with my taking this chance to foster good relations between our families? See, that's all well and good, but Elise hasn't made her debut into high society quite yet. Which means it's her brother's duty to shoo away the unwanted... Green. 
Must you always be such a tyrant when it comes to your sister? <laughs> Come along, Master Patrick. It would be unseemly to disrupt such a beautiful display of familial dedication. There are still preparations to be made for the operetta, so I suggest we depart to tend to those soon. A bell? Oh, that's the noon chime. Was it really that late already? Uh, I suppose I must turn away empty-handed for now. But I hope you're prepared, Schwarzer. When this day is over, we'll know without a doubt which of our classes is the greater. Oh, I already know. But I guess you're about to find out. Looking forward to seeing your A-game. <laughs> I think you overestimate your chances. Victory is as good as mine. I hope you'll be dazzled by my spectacular stage presence, Lady Elise. And assuming you'll be attending the after party this evening, it would be my pleasure to share a dance with Master Patrick, I suggest we hurry to the auditorium. Your classmates are waiting for you. If you'll excuse us, Master Reen, Lady Elise. to school with some rather amusing people. I would have expected a son of one of the four great houses to be a lot less approachable than that. Well, class and titles can only tell you so much. Getting to know Eusis and Angelica really drove that home. At the end of the day, even the most distinguished nobles are more than just their family lineage. Though I can't really say Patrick and I are on the best of terms. Well, if not a good friend, at least he seems to make for a spirited rival, judging by your exchange back there. It's so nice to see all these places you mention in your letters, too. I guess you really did make the right decision coming here after all. Yeah, I really did. I feel lucky to have been chosen for Class 7, too. They can be an odd bunch, but I couldn't imagine my life without them now. <laughs> Thank you so much for showing me around. I wish we could spend longer together, but I know you're busy this afternoon. I'll be fine wandering around by myself for a few hours, so go on and start getting ready for your concert. Uh, I'm really sorry to have to leave you flying solo. And maybe a little nervous now. How many other well-heeled nobles are going to crawl out of the woodwork to escort you around the festival? I appreciate your concern, but I'm not a child anymore, you know? <laughs> the two of you really are the portrait of sibling affection. What? I know that voice anywhere. Y your Highness! And Prince Oliver, too. Good afternoon, Your Highness. <laughs> Token position though it may be, I am the chairman of the board. It's only proper that I pay a visit. I would have liked to come yesterday as well, but I'm afraid I was tied up with a few official duties. Can you believe I had to beg him to take me along? But this is the festival! I couldn't miss it! In fact, I haven't seen you since we met at the summer festival. Right. It's a pleasure to see you again, Your Highness. Did you come as their escort, Captain? Basically. I was asked to step in on short notice to handle the security detail. I've been told Class 7 is performing a concert this afternoon. <laughs> Best of luck with that. Th thanks Oh yes, when will the concert be starting, by the way? I'm afraid I didn't have the time to do any research beforehand. They'll be starting around 3 p.m. Although I think another of the classes will be performing an operetta before that. Still, you could have at least told me you'd be coming. This isn't the first time you've done this. <laughs> well, I was hoping to catch the two of you clutching each other in the torrid embrace of forbidden love. It sounds like your concert is shaping up to be a grand time, though. Would you mind terribly if I tore off my shirt and leapt on stage to join you all midway through? 
Uh, we're mostly just amateurs when it comes to music, so I'm not sure that'd be such a good idea. You know, I don't see Major Vander around. Is he not with you today? Unfortunately not. You've probably heard a few rumblings about it already. But there's been another development in the Crossbell situation today. I thought so. The Imperial Army is considering military action, aren't they? Well, try not to worry yourself about that right now. If it helps put you at ease, I can't really see there being a war, regardless of what happens. The gulf in military power between our two nations is far too wide. It would be suicide for them to try to fight us. The Calvert Republic isn't standing idle either, so I imagine it'll end up a deadlock between superpowers. Under ordinary circumstances, I probably would have passed on coming today. But I thought that coming here with Alfin might actually alleviate tensions. Governor Regnitz, Rufus, and Chairman Arena are all here as well. I would presume they share the same opinion. But right now, you've got a concert to give. And I want you to focus all your energies on making it one to remember. Not for me or Alfin, or even for your schoolmates. Do it for yourself. Thank you, Your Highness. We'll give it all we have up there today. What's all this chit-chatting over here, you two? Care to let us in on your little gentleman's club? And spill the secrets of our man-to-man -man bonding? Perish the thought. Anyway, Alfin and I would be happy to escort Elise around while you're indisposed. We'll bring her along to your concert, of course, so you needn't worry about a thing. Thank you, Your Highness. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Good luck. I'll be praying for your success. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you shine up there on the stage. Okay, I guess I should head over to the auditorium now. We have to take care of some last-minute preparations. And I suppose I should catch Class 1's operetta, too. <laughs> 